In this comprehensive video, I will present seven strategic avenues for allocating your earnings after receiving your paycheck. While many individuals often get stuck after just the second step, embracing and implementing all seven of these distinct approaches can significantly enhance your financial standing. Our primary mission on this channel is to empower people to achieve financial growth, effective savings, astute investments, and increased income, thus enabling them to construct a more secure financial future. If you're new to this channel and keen on gaining deeper insights, consider subscribing and activating notifications for future videos like this one. Now, let's delve into the core aspect. It's crucial to comprehend the reasons behind the financial struggles faced by individuals earning around $50,000, $60,000, or $70,000 per annum, or even more. While various factors like economic circumstances, wealth disparities, and taxation can indeed play roles, the foremost factor boils down to inadequate money management skills. Sadly, schools and most parents don't impart these skills, leading to a cycle of financial hardships for many. This video aims to offer valuable insights to break that cycle. Research indicates that approximately 40% of Americans lack the means to cover a $400 unexpected expense. This situation arises from persistent financial challenges, trapping individuals in a cycle of insufficiency. Thus, this video intends to offer actionable advice. Let's now explore the first area where you should allocate your funds, your retirement fund. Number 1. The Retirement Fund Our initial focus holds great importance even before your paycheck arrives, especially for the majority. Utilizing tools like 401k plan provided by your employer offers a strategic way to save for the future. By setting aside a percentage of your income before it reaches your hands, you're securing a better financial outlook. It's worth noting that every investment carries risk, so personalized financial decisions are vital. However, many young professionals opt out of such retirement plans, ultimately impairing their financial stability. Transitioning to Step 2 We shift our attention to your checking account. This account serves as a central hub for managing your finances. While a majority hold at this point, it's crucial to understand that your financial journey goes further. By diversifying your bank accounts and enabling automatic transfers, you gain greater control over your finances. Number 3 Step 3 entails addressing your necessities. This involves the essentials required to sustain life, housing, sustenance, transportation, healthcare, and utilities. Distinguishing between needs and wants becomes pivotal here. Prioritize paying off minimum dues on your debts, safeguarding your credit score. Number 4. Next up, we explore Step 4. The Emergency Fund An emergency fund provides a safety net during an expected crisis. Begin with a modest amount and gradually build it to counter financial emergencies without resorting to debt. Number 5. Step 5 pertains to paying off debt. Utilize strategies like the debt snowball or avalanche method to systematically eliminate debt, taking into account interest rates and balances. Confronting and addressing debt alleviates financial stress. Number 6. In Step 6, consider saving for payroll. Accumulating 4 to 8 months worth of income safeguards against unforeseen hardships offering peace of mind. Opt for instruments that outpace inflation and remain easily accessible. Number 7. The final step, step 7, emphasizes investing. This phase leverages your money's potential to grow by engaging in real estate, stocks, bonds, and more. While investing carries risks, it offers a pathway towards financial growth and security. By following these seven steps, you lay the foundation for a more robust financial future. Prioritizing prudent money management, investing wisely, and cultivating a disciplined approach will position you for long-term success.